Today I'm reading Say Something, which is a follow-up to another one of my favorite Peter Reynolds stories, The Word Collector. But this one, instead of collecting words, uh, we're going to talk about Say Something. And I'm sure a lot of you always have a lot to say. I know my kids do. The world needs your voice. Mine? Yes, yours. Go ahead. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's from your heart. You don't have to be loud. Powerful words can be a whisper. You can say something in so many ways. With words, with actions, with certainty. If you see someone lonely, say something by just being there for them. If you see an empty canvas, say something with your brush. If you see an empty lot, say something by planting a seed and watching it bloom. If you see someone being hurt, say something by being brave. Hey, stop! Sorry, my pages are sticking. If you see something beautiful, say something with a poem. If you have a brilliant idea, say something with confidence. Eureka! If you want to show the world who you are, say something with style. Ta-da! If you are angry, say something to help people understand. You made me feel invisible. That really hurt. I'm really sorry. If you see an injustice, say something peacefully. Inspire others to do the same. Sometimes you'll say something and no one will be listening, but keep saying what is in your heart and you will find someone who will listen. Keep saying it and you may be surprised to find the whole world listening. If you are grateful for being alive, quietly say something to the stars, to the universe, some people find it easier to say something than others, but everyone has something to say. So when you're ready, say something. Your voice can inspire, heal, and transform. Your voice can change the world. Are you ready to say something? Have a great day.